All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Hearts Bay. The friendly team today, Mephisto, Nazebo, Imperia, Stitches, and Ariel. The enemy team, Thrall, Abathur, Lili, Garrosh, and False Dead, False Dead. Uh, I lost all of my Mephisto preset builds, but I think I remember how to do this. I'm going to take Unyielding Power at level 1. We're going to go for a Q build today. I'm pretty sure... That builds into something like this. Do I want movement speed or armor? Or do I want the slow? All of these can be fine. I'll figure it out as we go. Uh, are we going to be fighting to the death over vision here in the top lane? It appears that we are. Of course, I miss my Q on every target here, but there we go, sending out another one now. We do need to stack this up relatively quickly, so being in fights like this, normally I try to avoid it to go soak XP, but when I have a early game stacking quest, that's a special occasion. Uh, our Q ability, straight line skill shot, passes through enemies after a short delay. W ability is lightning around us. E ability allows us to teleport. But it rubber bands us back to the location that we started with, so it's not a get out of jail free card. In fact, it's normally a get yourself into more trouble card, in fact. Uh, Nazivo's heading down to the bottom lane. I'm going to keep pushing this out. They do have an Abathir, so theoretically they could be soaking, but it doesn't seem like they are. I should be a pretty good battery for... Thank you for the knockback. Uh, he pulled a minion. We're safe. Until he can do it again. Just keep that damage up. I don't know if Root's off cooldown. There it is. I got another Q lined up for them. It missed. Good W, though. That's not bad. First chest is up, and I'm not looking too healthy, but I'm trying. I'm trying to generate some energy here. Abathur Thrall means they have four members of their enemy team fighting us, so they are committing quite a lot to this. Nazebo already got the chest down bottom. That chest is still in play. It's a pretty bad W, to be honest. Throw is on cooldown, so I can't play close. But here comes the fun police. False dead flying in from the corner. Uh, I would like to go take camps. I don't know if I'm even good at doing that, though, to be honest. If these guys are going to stay this grouped, I'm going to continue to send Qs into them for as long as I can. Good damage on Garrosh as he got pulled into the towers. Q catches him on the way out, too. Even with Thrall moving up into our gullet there, didn't matter. Uh, Region Globe activates Lords of Hatred. This uh, Lords of Hatred gives us cooldown reduction whenever we deal damage. Now Region Globes are also going to be giving us cooldown reduction, meaning we can fire off more of our spells in a shorter time period, especially if we are fighting in a lane like this. Now, I'm going to move down the map a little bit. We're at 23 stacks of unyielding power already at three minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, the Frilly team does have seven coins. It looks like they might be trying to turn some of those in right now. Throw's already been used. Their healer being here complicates things. But I'll keep up damage while I can. Although it seems like they're fighting over nothing. So I'm going to keep going about my day. Try to stay on track here at least a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to be too good at the bigger camps, but these coin ones will die pretty quick. Uh, these two coins bring our team's total up to nine try to get this moving. I do want to get my Q to pass through both of these targets. It, I think it passes through an unlimited number of targets. Like, it just goes its full full skill shot length. Uh, we have enough for a turn in. I'm seeing three, four members on the map. We don't, Oh, we see Garrosh now, too. So I'm going to sneak these in if I can. Then, after these are safeguarded, I'll move to the right a little bit and try to grab some more. I, I didn't want to go over there with four coins when I don't know what their team is thinking or how they're rotating. We still don't see them, by the way. So they're probably over here. Nice stun. Beautiful. I'll take those coins and put them in. I think Stitch has got it, actually. Back to middle. We'll clear that lane as fast as we can. Do I want movement speed or armor? Uh, maybe I'll get the slow. Shade of Mephisto, Lightning Nova slows. We're not a Lightning Nova build. 
But having more CC just means I can line up my cues even easier. I don't think I hate that at all. Both teams sitting at level seven at the moment. Let me go ahead and grab these. Push out top one more time. They seem to be grouped up in the bottom lane quite aggressively. Abathur is up here. And we haven't pressured him at all. I wonder if I can get to a spot where I could see him. Uh, our angels being bullied on the side. That just won't do. Make him leave. Good hook. Pulls him back into range. Our Q does land as well. Going to continue to slow him down as we continue to body block him with that big booty stitches in the teddy bear skin. Okay. We'll get that moving. Get that pushing in. Uh, bottom looks like it's kind of terrifying. They were moving around trying to find him, but Imperius does make a clean getaway. We see our Nazebo taking a lot of damage as a result, though, but no, he's going to make it out with just a little bit of health as well. I'm going to wait here on this coin box. I was thinking they would move in faster. Okay, I should put my W right on it. That would be the fastest way of clearing this. I didn't do that. Oh, he's getting aggressive. He's got spiders on them, and is that going to be enough? Yes, it will. Lily could still kill me. So let's be careful. Very careful. Rebel is here, our guardian angel, here to watch over us, and I'm very glad that Garrosh decided to ignore me there. Since I've made the change to Windows 11, like, a lot of my games are kind of laggy. I haven't figured out why. We're sometimes going down to 45 frames in Windows 11, which... I've never had, you know, Hots usually runs pretty well. I'll try to figure out what's going on with that in between episodes. Uh, I'm going to take Durance because I want my healer to be able to get away. That is the entire reason. And I'm happy that I went with that decision. Look at that. Reposition just fine. I'm going to keep the spells slinging as we continue to push into Garrosh. Jug of 1,000 fuck yous is continuing to heal, though. Uh, I can't heal myself just yet, so I think I'm going to fall back. I think I'm going to fall back. I have a sippy cup that I can use to get back up to fighting force and then rejoin this fight, but it looks like more reinforcements are on the way right now. Uh, that's a lot of damage going out. We have a very good flank here. We almost have our root as well, but I forgot about a very important thing I should also have. Health. With my front line not there to protect me, all those guys had to do was turn around, and that's exactly what they did. Our healer gets taken down as well. Do we have the gorge? No. 50 seconds on that cooldown as the fight continues to be brought to our front door. That hook very, very close. They're fighting in between two towers right now. <laughs> Thrall almost not realizing that. Almost walking into one. That would have been nice. I would have liked that. I would have liked that. I would have liked that, Thrall. You should think about that. Uh, let's try to help clear this. The enemy team's turning in right now. That's going to be their first barrage. If they come this way, I have Durance. We could lock them down. We normally go with the go with the global damage. I just like being able to deal damage to anyone at any time. But it's hard to argue that Durance isn't good. It can also root multiple people if they're super stacked. That could set us up for some easy cues, especially if they're stacked and we're getting CDR on each shot. Uh, we could also just use it like right here. Just lock him down. He stepped up too far. Now he's never going to leave. We don't have to use it to peel. It can also be an aggressive tool. Uh, looks like this push is going pretty well in the bottom lane. Stitch is fighting two up top right now. Thrall, the lone defender down here. Let me try to shove this back. Uh, we are going to see an Abathir clone coming out. Sunder does hit, sending me flying. But we have some pretty good Qs lined up for this. And we're pushing up to the tier two defenses now with our mercenary camp still here. I finished my level one quest. Now we have two charges of our Q ability. Oh God. I tried to dodge the knockback there. I think I successfully did. Missed my Q, but we'll fire another one. That's okay. Uh, level 13 is here, and I want increased skull damage. If they keep pushing out, we do have Durance for that. That looks like it might be necessary. We'll see. I kind of want to keep playing this angle. 
kind of like this spot. I'm getting a lot of cooldown reduction here. If I land my shots, that is. They're mounting, so I need to mount. We need to get away. You think you can open all chests, you landlubbers? Garrosh coming in. This is a bit of a problem. Uh, we'll Durance here. Stitch is here to back us up. Uh, I can jump back into this one. But I can't go too much further. That was a decent amount of damage. Uh, are they going for a turn in? This fight is still continuing. I need to make sure I don't make the same mistake I made before. And just let these guys jump in on me for free. But that damage is looking really good. Garrosh is trying to find me now. Let's keep him slowed. He could do unstoppable and re-engage pretty easily. The fight is still continuing above, and it looks like they're making some dents now that Garrosh is fixated on me. Uh, not my best E in there. We need to be careful about Falstad trying to hard engage on us here as well. Durance is almost up. Sending it, sending in the Durance. They dodged it, very nice. Uh, the enemy team's Li Ming does get taken down. Garrosh trying to grab some coins. He's not gonna make it out. And I don't think I can catch him. But that's a free turn in for us. That's going to hit the top lane. I'm going to keep pushing because I don't have any coins. I can get these guys pushed up to the tier two defenses here. Um, and with our healer, we don't have to worry too much about a retaliatory game. I think we'll be okay. Whoop. He says immediately as he gets ganked. I think he just interrupted Sunder there. Uh, no Durance, but I can slow. Uh, jump away. We're going back there. That's fine. Turn this back on. Kite this way. Great heals. I'm trying to give you a little more, a little more power. There we go. Holy shit. Great job kiting there. Great job kiting. Uh, the hook goes out and finds a minion. Can we do anything here? If they move to intercept, here's Durance. Oh, that's so good. Oh, too much damage though. I got too close. I got too greedy. I moved like an inch forward and I was in melee range. The Gust does push us back into the corner. That's a lot of coins on Imperius and a lot of coins on Nazebo. It looks... <laughs> Thrall is fast. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Interesting choice. I think he still catches you. <gasps> push him away, push him away, push him away. Fuck. Hey, that's fine. Take those coins and you get out of there. Don't get Garrosh pulled. He doesn't have his fly. He used it to knock us back. Great stun inside the wall. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that shit. All right. Uh, Lightning Skull explodes. Yes. Yes. Now I have to have my W up for that to make sense. But that's not too hard to coordinate. Uh, I'm going to run up here and just try to zone. Give vision for the team. Try to see what this enemy team is doing. Oh, you know where Thrall's going now. There is a Merc camp that way. I think they're taking it right now. Indeed they are. We're saving Durance. Sending it now. Durance landed. Spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. All the Qs. We can finish off this camp. Uh, I think this is safe to push. Uh, we need to not surround him for the gust. There we go. Oh. I don't think I can kill that. That doesn't matter, though, because that's just distracting me from the real goal here, which is getting this building with these mercenary camps. Go, 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 go. We're trying to hit building, too. We have Durance again in five seconds. Top lane also has an incredible push moving down the map. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, uh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that fast of a collapse on me. I thought I'd be able to wiggle my way this way. They cut off that escape really quick. And that minion wave I was so excited about is mostly withered down anyway. Garage with a Q does stop Stitches from getting away. Uh, 
Ariel's very close, but there's literally no outrunning this Abathur Hat Thrall. That is the, probably the fastest thing in the game on two feet. Nazebo moving in to try to delay Chester spawning at the same time. These chests are no big deal. They're just going to be hitting our top and bottom tier one defenses if they do get the objective. They're looking at... Yeah, they'll have enough coins. Yeah, they'll have enough coins. Uh, I would like to help out with this. That sounds fun. Both teams dead even on XP. Even though we're this far ahead on Siege, that means Abathur must be doing a pretty good job, and indeed he is. Um, I'm going to Durance quickly. I missed. It's okay. Back it up. That's okay. It's just a cooldown. That's fine. I'll try to clear middle really quick as well. They're definitely going for a turn in right now. They just took the coin camp on the left side of the map. So we don't want to push out too far here. We assume they're in a group of four and they could just rotate on us pretty quick. First one we see is Thrall followed by Lily. Yeah, that's the whole team. Great Q damage. Wow. Wow. Uh, the Thrall is in the belly and is being carried away as we speak. He is behind us. We should be aware of that. He might be able to kill our stitches. Uh, I'm going to let them figure that out, and I'm going to continue to cut the waves over here. I'm not afraid of Lili at all. Even with Thrall, I can kill that. Or even with uh, Abathur, I can kill that. So my goal becomes make sure this lane pushes to core as fast as possible so we can get as much pressure here. God, killing these last two minions is really hard. So we can get as much pressure here for the friendly team as we can. Durance lands! Um, yeah, we, we can kill this. Yeah, we have some minions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do. I'm going to get the upgrade for endurance so it's silences as well. Not that it needs to be any better. It was doing just fine on its own. Nazebo MVP. Did I get anything? Five mercenary camps. Well, look at that. Counts we went for today are Unyielding Power, Spite, Frost, Storm, Durance of Hate, Abhorred Skull, Lightning Reaction, and Unspeakable Horror. Pretty good game. I love Blackheart's Bet. I, I wish I could target maps that I want to play on. I don't know, that might segment the player base even more. I've I've changed my mind.